Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. A few weeks ago, I had a request from a viewer to show how I clean my paint palette. So today I'm gonna to give you some of my great tips on how you can keep your palette neat and clean. The first thing I'm gonna address is how to keep your watercolor paints clean, especially if you enjoy mixing colors. So when I mix colors, I try to start with the lightest colors first and then add in the darker colors afterwards. Then the next best thing is to try to wash off your brush before you dip into a new color. Now, even when I'm trying to do both of those things, I can still get my paints a little messy or mixed together. So if you need to clean your colors out a little, you can use a clean, wet brush and clean water, then get the top of your paint wet, and then use a paper towel to dab off any of that unwanted color. Next, when I'm ready to clean my mixing trays, there's a few ways that I do this too. So the first way is to take a large brush full of water and scrub all around my mixing tray, all over the paint that's there. Then take a dry paper towel and wipe off any of the dirty water. And there you have it, practically as good as new. The next way that I sometimes clean my tray is to take my dirty paper towel, usually one that I had painted with previously that day, and I dip that paper towel into my water, clean or dirty. Then I scrub my tray, getting rid of the majority of the color that's on my tray with that paper towel. Then afterwards, like before, I dry it off with a clean dry paper towel or a rag. Now, if your palette is made out of plastic, you might notice that some of your watercolor paints may slightly stain your palette. This is especially true for pinks, blues, and purples. Now, it doesn't really matter if it gets stained, but every once in a while, I'll spray a little bit of Clorox spray on my tray and let it sit there for a little while to take some of that color off. But if you do this, be sure not to spray your paints and make sure that you wash your tray with soap and water when you're done. Now sometimes for my art tutorials I do, I pre-mix my colors or pull them straight from my tube and just add some water in them in this little ceramic palette so that they're ready to paint with. So when I clean this off, all I do is take it right up to the sink, pour some water in it and scrub it a little bit with my finger or a brush, then just rinse it off. Usually this palette is pretty clean after doing this, but every once in a while it still seems a little dirty or just needs extra cleaning. And so what I do is squirt a little bit of soap in there and then spread and scrub it again and rinse it out and dry it off. You can clean these little plastic palettes that exact same way, but like I talked about before, they can get stained with some paint color. So if you want, you can spray it with Clorox, just like I showed before. Now, before I move on to brush cleaning tips, I'm gonna clean this little dollar store set because my kids use these and usually make a good mess of them. And sometimes I'll even do in-person live beginner painting classes with these. So it's a good idea to know how to clean them too. This set actually isn't too bad today, but usually the paints are all mixed into each other. So I start by rinsing off the entire paint set with some water. Then I use a brush to scrub the tray as well as around and in between the paint colors. Then I rinse it off again. And if the paints themselves need just a little bit more help and attention, use a paper towel and dab off the tops of each color. Now let's quickly go over some awesome brush cleaning tips. When you're painting with watercolors, oftentimes just rinsing them with clean water is enough. But if they need a deeper clean or if you're using other paint mediums, a great way to clean them is by putting some soap in the palm of your hand and then just rubbing the brush onto your hand and in the soap. Then rinse it off and do that same thing over again until the water runs clean. Another great way to deep clean your brush, especially if you use acrylic paints, to help make sure that your bristles don't stiffen up because of paint residue at the base, is to rub some soap into it just like we did before, and then grab the entire brush top and push all of the bristles back and forth several times. This is going to help force any paint that has gotten deep into the brush to come out. 
I hope you found some of these tips helpful today, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel so I can help you discover your artistic side.